Hey, Orange One here. Um, we have a little bit of an interesting situation. I'll explain more in just a second, but check this out. We've got King from the Southern Hive eating this dude. I can't really, unfortunately, because of the texture of King, I'm trying to click on this other guy and I'm having a hard time. So this dude's being ate alive. Uh, so as you're well aware, animals in this game, I'm sure if you, at this point you're well aware animals in this game eat limbs first before they eat uh, your torso and this dude is probably going to die from bleeding out. Um, basically what happened here was I ran Silas down and just threw this guy on the ground there and then ran back and watched from a distance and one of the elite drone guards brought them over to this side of this hill and King came over and just started chomping down like it was pretty crazy. Um, Silas, I've gone and had him get on one of these poles, though. I probably want to unlock it, though. Um, because, yeah, I suspect these guys are going to be around here. Wait, what are they doing? Are they patrolling? No, they're... Wait, for real? <gasps> guys, these are like the... They're like the Fogmen. Look, they're like Fogmen. They're totally like Fogmen. These are the elite drone guards too. Look at them. The elite drone guards are like Fogman. They like do the little worshipping thing while something gets ate. Oh, that's super cool. Um, we're gonna not get ate by King ourselves though. Um, Silas, well, as soon as this guy's done, we'll get out of here. But oh man, the wonders of Kenshi. Like how would you have found this out? Oh, look at that. There's a big old group of them. Now that's a patrol. So we got the patrol here. Yeah, that's like the normal patrols that we've been attacking. But it looks to me like the only ones that get to worship um, King Eating are these elite drone guards. They're the only ones that actually go over here. That is really interesting. Wait, if they're all here, you know what that means? Let's have a look over here. What's uh, What's going on over here, Queenie? Uh, where's the queen? In here, right? Yeah, the queen's not being guarded right now, guys. Silas, do you have... You do. Oh, man. Do we do it? Do we try and kill queen? I was thinking of recruiting more of these guys. I think we've got enough skilled troops, though, to take out Catlon. I'm trying to figure out, honestly... Um... How I want to make the world burn. Because this this character and this whole let's play, you know, as much as I enjoy it, I do think it's kind of... We've gotten to the point where there's not really much else to do in-game without modding it. Which I will, I think, do a new series. It's like a modded Kenshi series. But for this, for now, um, I think... Oh man, I would really like to recruit more elite drone guards. But we don't need to, and honestly, I don't want to spend the time to recruit them. Um, Silas, can I? I'm, I'm trying to consider, do I want to kill her or do I want to capture her? I think we want to kill her. I mean, we could capture her, and then I think the Southern Hive actually will try and come get her, is a, is a thing that I think happens, but I don't think we're going to be able to sneak behind her without her noticing. If we can get behind her without her noticing, then I might go for it. Did we do it? Wait, hold on. Can we steal from here? Hold on. What's the deal with people seeing me? No hive. Uh-oh. We've been spotted, guys. Let's try and do a little stealth K. Oh my gosh. It actually worked. Oh man. Are we going to get out of here? With the queen? Oh, what? The queen is a robot. Like, she's just straight up a robot. That is really interesting. Good to put the armor back on. I just don't want you getting one-hitted. And we'll, uh, we'll bring her home. That is... Uh, yeah, explain that one to the parents when you bring home a hive queen, right? I mean, I know that people are trying to be all accepting these days, but that would be a little bit weird if you saw this 
when you <laughs> when your kid Silas comes home. <laughs> oh man. You know, actually, let's just take a second and look at the queen. I haven't really uh, inspected the character model for the queen all that much. That That is so weird. What is going on there? And then it definitely looks like they're like kind of like pregnant. You know, that's definitely what they're going for. It's like some robotic stomach. But where does the robot end and the hyper begin? Or is this like a whole strap that goes around? Yeah, that's like a whole strap that goes around them like that. Okay, cool. They got like this little strap that goes all the way around them in the front and the back. Very strange though. A very strange character model. It was a really cool one. Very mysterious. I don't believe it. We got the actual queen. Well, I know what I'm titling this episode. I don't know what I'm going to do for the rest of it. Because my plan was to, like, I honestly, I was just kind of goofing around. I was planning to go get an elite drone guard. <laughs> um, now I think we need to defend against these guys. Because they're probably going to send an, a force to wherever we bring her, I believe. So if we bring her to Fort Monroe, Fort Monroe is probably going to get attacked. And if that is the case, I might want, like, Igor and the other royals to come back down. Because we got this crew up here. Um, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. Okay, that actually freaked me out just a little bit. I'm just going to do a little quick save. Because I don't want to have to redo that. And fake um, enthusiasm and whatnot. Um, I think... Igor, you could probably just grab Tanishi. Or actually, Tanishi needs a left leg. Do I have... Actually, I think Redmane might already be there. Where are you, Redmane? Yeah, it looks like you were... You got a ton of food there. Why do you have so much food? That is really weird. I think you must have been making all of the food. And then we sent you to go get, like, robotic parts. Yeah, let's get Tanishi that leg. And then I think we're going to have to get the, the royals heading down from here, besides uh, the one that's going to be buying and selling their sake. I think we said it was going to be Jack that was going to do that. I kind of feel bad. I feel like Igor and Pet should be retiring there. I'll tell you what, if Igor and Pet survive the assault on Catlon, they can go retire here. I know, so romantic. It's beautiful. Um, <laughs> yeah, I need ideas also on what I want to do for my next series. I've got a couple couple ideas on what I want to do. I feel like everyone on YouTube has done the skeleton let's play, like the solo skeleton let's play, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but I think I might try and do something where we do like a minor faction let's play. Like we try and team up with a minor faction and maybe go with a more obscure one. And we could do a <laughs> the skin bandit let's play. <laughs> no. <laughs> I want to still be able to be hired in the real world. I don't want to be that guy known for doing the skin bandit playthrough. Um, Tanishi, left leg. Left leg, come on, can I get a scout left? I mean, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. And I think it would be nice to get another person made into a cybernetic person uh who else is is there i'm just checking who else we have here that we could upgrade oh i also grabbed placeholder and brought them by the way we could upgrade placeholder i think i kind of want to do the princes if i can wrath also came over here and is fully upgraded so we have like an elite drone guard right there it's fully upgraded with igor and, um, oh, Benedict, you're missing two arms. You need two arms. Um, we're not going anywhere till Benedict has two arms. <laughs> um, I don't know exactly how we're going to do that, uh, considering a little tight for cash um, right now. And we could give him not the best arms. Actually, let's just... We'll go to... Oh no, the game crashed. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, so the game totally did crash there. Um, and it looks like we actually haven't bought that thing yet. So Redmayne, go back in there. Sorry. Um, and get that for me. 
Um, let's see, it's Silas, what were you doing? Oh, oh yeah, you have the queen. Well, that's, yeah, a problem. Are they? Oh, they're fogmen. <gasps> we've, we've crushed the hive. Now there's fog heavies and fogmen ro roaming around. Wait, so did, is the hive like completely busted now? Like I thought that they would have a chance to try and rescue the queen. Okay, well I guess we've just destroyed the southern hive. Rip. <laughs> Sorry if you guys wanted this series to go on a lot longer. But we've just nailed the a big nail in the in the coffin, honestly. Um because we're not gonna be able to get our primary source of good recruits from here. And we could farm the West Hive, it's just it's a lot more work, is what I've found. With the caravan guards. And we could go to villages and, and raid there. But I don't think that we are going to do that. Um, Red Main, you're probably at the destination by now, right? You're close if you're not there. I, I know you are. So yeah, we're gonna get Benedict two arms, because they need them. And Tanishi, I might I might um, just give you not such a great leg and have you get carried around by someone. Because, I mean, Tanishi, the thing is, is that they've got really good stats. Um, and what I'm uh, hoping to do is give people really good arms so they can attack really fast. So anything that gives like higher dexterity, I'm trying to strap those onto our cybernetic people and um, in hopes that that'll make me strike fast. And as you've seen, if you strike fast, you usually win in this game. Uh, let's see. We were gonna get... I mean, a steady arm is not the worst. And I think the skeleton arm, the masterwork skeleton arm, is really what we want to go for. So we'll get that. And then... I think we got the right, so we need a left, right? Yeah, I think the steady is probably the best arm that we can get. That's 18, that's 14. Let's go with the 18. Yeah. And then we were gonna get, see if we could get a leg also for Tanishi. How much did that one scout leg cost left? Is it the left? Is that what you're missing? It is. Okay, cool. Oh, sweet. So we can we can get everything that we wanted there. Nice. Merry Christmas, Redmane. Merry Christmas to us all. Okay, well, um, what to do, huh? We could, I think, probably want to follow Silas, because I'm pretty sure they're going to mount an assault once we get the queen back in our base. I'm, I'm like, 90% sure that I, I saw that somewhere, that they do that. That that's one of the the things in game. It's kind of like you know you see how they they send their special raid. These guys will send essentially their special raid every um, if you can get the queen. I given the fact that there was fogmen spawning, I kind of feel like the hive is dead. Like we totally killed it. Oh wait, what? We can talk to her. Well, let's hear what she has to say. Eh? Yeah, that's what I thought. Is that like the Japanese? Eh? That's what it looks like to me. Um, wow. Okay, well, we have a really good weapon on Silas right now. Um, I really... Yeah, who's this cross person? They better address the cross person when it, uh, in Kenshi 2. Like, how everyone has their armor is just insane. Um, I don't think we're going to get attacked now by the Southern Hive, but we wanted to move these guys southwards anyways. Um, so we'll just kind of wait for Redmain to get back here, and then we'll start bringing our troops down. Now, I did see the comment about someone... I've forgotten who exactly said it, but someone wanted to know... Um, what the plan is for taking out Catlon. Now basically what I'm planning on is um, sending in Igor, but that's like plan B. He's He really, I think, could just straight up kill uh, Catlon, given that he's got cybernetics and his stats are like just like through the roof with his strength. And his dexterity could be higher, but um, with 
the cybernetics that he has, it, it really boosts that dexterity. So his effective dexterity is a lot better than um, than you would think. So like 60, that's pretty good. That's pretty quick. Um, there's also the fact that we've got like all these other really high level people. So basically what I'm planning on having happen is sending in, um, <laughs> I hate saying this, but sending in like some of our like VIPs straight into the brawl. Like basically if you want to be one of the first people to fight Catlon, let me know. Like put that in a comment or if you have any requests for other people to fight first, let me know. And I was thinking of like having um I mean Silas is not gonna 1v1 Catlon and win. But I'm thinking of having Silas like 2v1 against Catlon. Have Silas get like a I don't know. Maybe Benedict or someone. Or maybe like Blake. Seeing how Blake is our Patreon uh, supporter, maybe Blake and I could um, try and double team Catlon. And then once they most likely have been just destroyed, um, then I'll send in the big guys. Um, we are going to have some issue with roaming patrols, but when you actually get to Catlon, I don't think there's that many units actually around him, and you can just straight up walk up to him, and he starts talking to you. And so I think that we can kind of bum rush in there, and then maybe hold people back while we take him out. And then we'll see from there. I don't know if we'll be able to bring anyone out from that fight. It might be like a suicide run if we do it like that. Um, but I, I don't know. Maybe some people get away. It might be kind of exciting to try and see if we can get anyone to survive uh, escaping there. And then we could maybe even have that be our... Um, I don't know, maybe the world could end. It could be like an Akira uh, situation. It, by the way, if you haven't seen Akira, you need to. I just saw it for the first time a uh, couple nights ago. Really good world-ending sci-fi uh, anime craziness. Okay, so Red Mane, you're here. We're, let's go ahead and we'll give those limbs to those people. Nishi needed his leg. Cool. And then Benedict needed these arms. He looks like it's kind of funny seeing the soldiers without arms because they honestly look like sharks. You know? Okay, yeah, you're just not going to put those arms on. And I'll just put them in your pocket. You know, the yeah, actually you do have a giant backpack, so it's not as weird. So yeah, I think we're gonna bring everyone besides Jack. Um let's get placeholder in the squad though. I figured, you know, I felt bad for placeholder having the name that he does. He never even got a legit name, and I remember I said to him so long ago that he was going to um he was going to get named... Oh, whoa. Flash of light. Sorry. Um, he was going to get um, named by, like, uh, the Shinobi Thieves, and I just, like, totally forgot about him. So he's the underdog. If you feel like I've forgotten about people, he's the representation of that. <laughs> and he's got some really good stuff that he brought down with him as well. Um, so we were going to have everyone besides Jack come down and leave and Jack have fun you're gonna be um, doing your rice weed as much as you want why are we moving so slow who's the who's the slow poke is it Trill oh Trill is really really hungry well it's a good thing you got some rice bowls oh and look we had some legs there right in the left leg for someone who's that for and they're not that good of limbs, so I don't know if I really... Oh, maybe we upgraded someone's limbs. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Uh, let's get Igor. You're the strongest, so maybe you should go uh, parry, carry Trill. I don't know. Uh, that's... I mean, Tanishi is pretty fast, actually, with their, their legs. Tanishi, you... I had said we're, we're going to carry other people, but I think that this is going to work out pretty well. And then placeholder is also kind of slow. Uh, Benedict, why don't you go pick up placeholder? 
and just because I know that Igor wants to, because I always want to pick up my pet. It's like kind of a problem actually. Like I, I feel like my cat's just like, leave me alone. <laughs> Please leave me alone. And I'm like, I love you. <laughs> it's a problem. Uh, yeah, let's get these guys back down to Fort Monroe, and then we'll pick up some soldiers. Basically, we'll have most of the Royal Squad and most of the um, the Soldier Squad head down. Now, I don't know... Yeah, I don't know if I really want to upgrade everyone, or just kind of upgrade most. We'll probably go with upgrade as much as we can, realistically. Without me just going insane. Because I do feel like I... Um, I enjoy playing Kenshi, but just waiting for, like, rice weed to grow, but also having to keep an eye to make sh sure that your crossbows don't just, like, obliterate everyone at Fort Monroe. It's tr it's It takes time, you know? Time that, I mean, I suppose I have right now. But I'd rather be playing Bannerlord. Because <laughs> I'm, like, hardcore addicted to that thing. I don't know, there's just something about, like, the combat and, like, the the feeling that you get from having like a like a strategic advantage and then turning that into like a tactical victory i really like that like oh i love games where you get to do a little bit of like the on com on the ground combat like xcom hive attack oh so there is a hive attack coming okay well then where's it coming from because i'm not seeing it there oh it's from the outpost Okay, are we going to get there in time? If not, I might just send Igor up ahead. And Benedict and Wrath. Yeah, I'm actually really intrigued to see how powerful this Hive attack is. Um, I'm a little nervous, though. Is this everyone that's leaving the... D yeah, it is everyone. They're actually all super fast. They're actually staying together pretty well. I like it. Um, but are they fast enough? I think they are. I think that they'll actually get there around the same time. And we got further to go. But I also think that we are way faster. But we'll see. We may have a lot of people die very soon. Or, or, the alternative is that we just completely crush them. And they stand no chance. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Oh, where's Silas right now, actually? I just... For a second. I'm just gonna, again, quick save, because I don't want the game to crash. Again, because I think that we've kind of pushed the game to its limit in terms of processing everything at the same time. You know what, Silas? I'm gonna send you out just to scout it out. Honestly. I probably shouldn't be doing this, but I just am curious about the attack force that we're gonna be dealing with here, and I kinda wanna see it before they actually get here. Because if they end up crushing me to the point where I can't go take out Catlon, actually, that might be a good ending. That might be a good ending to the series. <laughs> this might be the final episode, I don't know. It probably won't be. I'm pretty sure that we can fend off uh, attack from the Western Hive. It is like an end game attack. It is also kind of like a minor faction. I don't know. Are they a minor faction? I don't know if I would call them a minor or a major faction. Is that what I think it is? <gasps> what? They have Gorios. War Gorios. Hold on. What the heck? That is so cool. It's also really, really concerning. Okay, we. this might be the end of the series then. <laughs> I mean, their units are not that good, and we actually aren't that outnumbered, um, all things considered. And they've got such... Uh, there's, there is actually a considerable number of them, enough where it's concerning me. I want to blitz them with my crossbow, but I think that this is the universe telling me that this could be a way that we end it. I know that sounds super dark. <laughs> the universe is telling me to end it. But you know, honestly, I have I've really enjoyed 
this and like I on one hand I feel like people probably are feel like I maybe have abandoned them and I, I hope you guys don't feel that way by uh, recording so much of the banner lord I I feel guilty about it I did want to let you know that I do feel guilty about um just getting so engrossed in that where I was just like man I should finish this series, and so many people spent so much time with it, it's kind of disrespectful not to um, finish it in an appropriate way. But then I also don't want to, like, rush it. You know, like, I'm feeling like, am I rushing it? By having these guys attack and possibly wipe us out? No, I don't. I, I'm conflicted, but I, at the end of the day, I think it's okay. Okay, it looks like our super soldiers made it. Which is great. Um, copper mine, I'm just curious. I don't think we really want you guys with us. I'm just kind of curious as to who's over there right now. I mean, Arnold. Um, Arnold might be worth having. I don't think you're going to get there in time, though. And you got like a crummy leg that's not even that fast. I'll tell you what, Arnold, you can stay here. We'll, we'll deal with it. The real Hivers will deal with it. Uh, they actually already have a little group that's pretty much outside the gates here. Um, you guys should probably be not standing out here. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. A little suggestion. Just a pointer. Yeah, they've got like a little group that's ran ahead of everyone else. Uh, speaking of which, Silas, maybe you could run out here. Hopefully you don't just stand out here, though. I am a little bit worried about that. Yeah, we'll, we'll get the troops inside the walls. Give us just a little bit extra time to crossbow them, you know? Oh, hello, cat. I was just talking about you. You gonna... Yep, just like... Okay, yeah, just walk straight in front of me over my chest and onto the back of the chair. Okay, it's fine. It's not like I'm doing anything right now. Cats, right? Uh, where's Igor? Igor is... Where? What? Okay, you're right here. Let's get Igor up in there. Man, if Igor gets killed here, that would be bad. Save the queen. Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be in interesting. Forgive us, queen. Uh, I mean, the fact that they're kind of spread out, I think, is a huge advantage to us. I think that we'll be able to handle this okay. Let's just get our troops kind of close. I'm gonna let the crossbows just kind of go at it a little bit. Uh, Igor, maybe, I don't know, maybe I should be trying to be a little bit more careful here, I don't know. Yeah, let's maybe not have the crossbows going, because we got people outside, like we got Igor and other people, if they got hit, I would never forgive myself. I think that we can out-melee them, I just think we need to have Igor out here in the courtyard. Um, so let's just come back a little bit. I think I'm going to actually tell these guys to just disable their jobs. And then they can come down. Uh, hold on, just give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Oh man, I hope you guys uh, don't think that I'm lying to you like I, I'm faking this or anything. I just swear I actually had like to get something out of the oven. Um, like for real. Silas, do I want you out here defending against a giant Gorillo? He's got like... 419 health, which I know you guys are all like, oh, that's close to the number, right? <laughs> it is the number. Yeah, Silas, maybe you don't go charging in to the Gorio attacking the walls. Uh, we'll have Igor get in on there. Oh, yeah, Igor. Do it. Do it. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, man, that thing went down actually pretty quick. That's crazy. Wait, we defeated the attack? No way, that was way too easy. So are the, the ones that were coming here just gonna turn around now? Oh, they got like separated though. Hold on guys, hold on. It's not over. Come back, I wanna play. <laughs> oh, That's disappointing. Like, for real. You guys, come over here. The gorillas want to come over. <laughs> yeah, come on over. I want to fight you. Not like all at once though. Not with just Silas. 
Come here. I sm I swear we uh Oh man, like it's just the Gorillos basically right now coming at us. They'll pursue us though all the way to the gates, won't they? Man, I almost want to reload that just because it we didn't lose anyone. And I was like thinking that this was gonna be the end of the series. Like if they actually attacked with all of those gorillas and that whole force, um we might have had actually to have worried about it, um ending ending us. I mean still that many gorillas there makes me nervous. Are they turning around? They're not turning around now. Okay. Let's uh let's open this up. Let's get you guys off of that. I think oh yeah, you still have the jobs. No. We don't want those jobs on. Come down. And then Igor Pet, maybe you guys can just be a little bit closer in. Uh, yeah, I know you really want to get in there, but I don't want you to do it. Igor. Man, if Igor can take on mul multiple Gorillos at once, I'm going to be impressed. I think we got this in lock on lockdown. We got a lot of people running out there. I'm just going to turn anyone around that I don't think should be fighting. And we'll see how we do against a Gorillo army. Uh, motorist, yeah, I don't want you fighting. I know you're... Oh, actually, you're not on a passive order, are you? Is there anyone else that shouldn't be fighting that's coming? Splater... Uh, Hydro... Far, uh, no, not Cheater. Cheater, you can attack. Yeah, you... 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 All go passive. And go back here. I know that we're saying that it, we're defending the hive and we gotta gotta get out there and do it, but I'm not gonna waste my units like uh, that are not made for fighting. Southern Miner 4 is dead as soon as I said that. Uh, yeah, you guys shouldn't be there. Nor should you. I don't know how I missed that. Get on the passive and get out of there if possible. Yeah, I mean, just these gorillas alone. Uh, and they killed someone. King will be happy again. Sure. I mean, victory for the hive. I... N no? Just no. <laughs> that is so cool about the war gorillas. I haven't seen any, um... Any differences about them from the regular gorillas. But why don't why don't we see more war gorillas or gorillas? I know that how I say it bothers some people. Why don't we see that them patrolling with more of those? Like that is such a cool thing. Honestly, can I want that in a mod? I'm sure it is in the mod actually. So you guys are all falling back. I'm not sure what's gonna happen with the hive. Do it, should I send Silas to go investigate what's uh, going on in the? I mean, we kind of know what's happened. The whole place has been overrun by Fogman. Um, what's, uh, what's your deal here? You're about to get in a fight. Uh, yeah, I would rather if you were passive. Robotic helper. And Feta, yeah. I got a, had a feeling that Feta was going to get beat up. This dude's hurt, but he's still uh, a mighty adversary. Yeah. But honestly, those things actually were not doing nearly as much damage as I thought they would. I thought they were going to be one-hit killing our units, and they were getting like 30, 40 damage on them, which is, you know, rough, but... Oh, look, there's our dead hive. Or no, that's that's their, their people. Man, who is that prince? This guy must have been a very special prince. That was the queen's favorite right there. Is that just a rant? Yeah, that's just a random human leg. It's kind of weird. Uh, are you? Yeah, you're Southern Miner. Okay, let's go check that out, because I bet that they actually have some decent stuff on them, even though they're just a miner. Nah. <laughs> actually, never mind. Yeah. That's not worth picking. Um, I'm not really sure how long the recording has gone, because there was, I think, maybe three chunks now of recording times. Uh, there's at least two, maybe three. And I, I really have no idea how long it's taken us. 
Um, I'm gonna gather the forces, maybe heal up a little bit because yeah, like Pet is hurt and other people are hurt. We'll, we'll just get a little bit in better shape, I think, before our uh, push down. Now we're not gonna go all the way, all the way from here straight down to the ominous place. What I'm thinking is we'll take either small parties or pretty much everyone at once um, through Grey Shelf and try and get them in um, like one of these these bases around here. Maybe the skin else HQ. And then we'll use that as a place to like heal up and then push into here as needed. Um, and yeah, that's that's a little bit more of a plan. I don't think we're gonna build an actual base, but I'm definitely um, gonna have some sort of fallback location. Yeah, dude, like that thing, look at how much it's bleeding. And it's just like, I don't care. I'm gonna keep on doing my thing. I mean, the bleeding does actually slow down if you give it enough time. So it might slow down to the point where they actually survive. Like, it is possible. But on these damage settings, it's very unlikely. I love how the blood spiders fight the gorilla like that. Yeah, he's down. He's that. That is a shame. Now I want war gurios. Um, let's see, what what else could we do? I'm not sure, to be honest. Yeah, I think we just need to heal up. Maybe get more robotic parts, but I honestly think that we'll just kind of roll in with what, what we've got. I might take some days before I actually record the next thing to give you guys some input on who you think should face uh, Catlon first. Um, and if I don't get much feedback, I'm probably just gonna do what I uh, I said with like Blake and Silas, and then we'll like get progressively more uh, soldiers in there, to see how much it really takes to take out Catlon, and wear him down. With definitely a crossbows plan uh, C or D, um, we'll just dome Catlon with a crossbow. I mean, if like it looks like Silas is dead, the dream of the hive is dead, and we gotta at, at least finish our final enemy, you know? That's kind of like what I'm thinking. Man, what an anticlimactic way for the Southern Hive to go down. Like, I'm legit, like, a little upset about that. Uh, you know what? Igor, you're quick. Just because I'm curious, why don't you run down here and we'll show people, show off a little bit about what we got going on down here. Yeah, people are gonna then try and chase this thing. Or not. Um, Yalsberg, you gonna kill it? Oh, or get killed by it, I'm not sure. But yeah, it looks like you're fine. Run speed, why is it red but it's a positive? That's super weird. I and mean, I know that your boost is in the positive due to your boost but it should be appearing as yellow right like that kind of strange um let's just speed it up just a tad i'll speed up the healing as well as us getting over here so if we're here you know i think this hints at um the foglands um used to being a place like this like there definitely used to be a queen there because it seems like they need to have some sort of hive um but without a queen and it, it corrupts them. Either that or it's just like the, the lack of the pheromone. I think though, I have another weird theory about the hivers, is what if um, the queen doesn't actually, isn't actually a queen? Because if you look at the queen, she looks very similar to the other hivers. What if the queen is just like the other hivers, but the device um, on their belly produces a, uh, a pheromone that changes something about the structure. Like, I'm thinking the structure actually has, like, eggs of hivers in it. You know? That makes any sense. And that just the presence of that device on the queen's stomach is enough to uh, change things. Uh, there's a drone for the southern hive. Oh, actually, so they do actually have some, some southern hivers. 
Yes? You want to talk to me? About like what? Like Jesus or something? No, you're just patrolling. Are you not hostile? It says you're hostile, but you're not attacking Igor. I mean, is it Igor returning home? <gasps> Actually, you know what? This is super cool. Igor is returning back to the Southern Hive. Place that he left for the UCE territories. Yeah, look, there's Fogman here. Are they actually killing Southern Hive drones? <gasps> yeah, they are. Oh, how sad. Well, it looks like the Hive has fallen. Oh man, look, the it literally is uh, like different on the inside here. Like it's um, there's no throne. Like the where the throne was is just empty. Well, whatever items were in those chests, uh, I'll never know. That's a shame. Kind of annoying. Also, now that we have this place all to ourselves, you know what we can do is something that I've always wanted to do is just kind of explore the pathing on this top area, because it's always intrigued me as to where you can go on this because it looks to me like yeah you can run around all around here and then there's this weird little thing that comes up and out from here and there's like a little house up there let's just check this all out huh why not right yeah you're trying to be a kidnapper i get it okay this is just empty now i i wonder if that was like that beforehand it probably had furniture and stuff in it what is oh that's the reaver. Oh, where's the king? I'm just curious. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> Speaking of... Hivers and... Oh, are you actually alive? Oh, cool. Yeah, uh, try and get away from the fogman. I dare you. And I'm going to take one of these bodies and put them in the thing for King. Uh, just because I'm curious to see what will happen. Gas, yeah, stop, no. Um, okay. Don't go in there. Uh, where's that? It's really hard to see. Did the things disappear? I think the posts might have... Di no, they're here. God, these are obscure. We'll put one of the fog... Okay, that was kind of weird. If they're dead, do they still get eight? That's a... Uh, though, I'm pretty sure now that I've gone over the half an hour point. Yeah, that Reaver's still getting carried. I'm just kind of curious what's going on over here. Is there like a post in here that they're on? Or is it just kind of like free form? Oh no, there's totally a post. Okay. Well... Did one of them have, like, a proper sword there? Dude, what? That Fogman's got, like, a sword. You're a Fog Prince. Uh, oh, yeah, the Fog Princes have swords. I forgot that. Igor, don't get hit. Don't get hit. He almost got hit, but he's fine. Okay, yeah, I think that this is a pretty good spot to end this episode. Uh, thank you for joining me in the destruction of the Southern Hive.